Hello, welcome to the Citrus Garden. If you're new here, my name is Christina. If you're not new here, hi, welcome back. It's great to see you. This is a reading for Sagittarius, or if those with significant Sagittarius placements, doesn't matter if it's sun, moon, or rising. Um, if there's a message in here for you, then take it. If not, just leave it. Um, so Sagittarius, before we start pulling cards, um, I was seeing this image of the solar plexus, which is represented by the color yellow, um, the third chakra, and um, like a sword being pulled out of it. Um, I don't, I don't, so it's kind of, I initially thought it was kind of like th the three of swords, like there could have been some sort of like blockage something like a blockage or a wound or whatever, something something that does not belong in your solar plexus energy. And the third chakra represents sort of like your willpower, um, your confidence, your ability to create, your belief in yourself, your strength, your core, right? That's sort of what the solar plexus represents. And so I'm, I was seeing sort of like a sword being removed from the solar plexus, um, which could also be sort of like, like if, if you think about like King Arthur, like Excalibur, like removing the sword from the stone, um, that it's in removing that sword, it sort of um, becomes part of your truth or like your purpose or your destiny or something like that. If you want to use those big words, um, you can. It, that's sort of how it feels. I feel like also just paying attention to like just more on like a sort of a grounded level, um, paying attention to like your digestion, even like your stomach, your digestion, because it may be that you're clearing out some sort of blockage that was in the solar plexus. Um, so you may be in the process of sort of like removing the venom, so to speak. It kind of it may feel kind of like um, nervousness or like queasiness or um, I don't think it's quite anxiety, but it does feel kind of like um, unsettled energy in the stomach is how it's coming through. That could be anxiety as well. Um, but I feel like because the sword has been removed, there's sort of like a healing process happening within that area, um, which which has to do with like how to pr probably like help that process along is to like reaffirm or affirm to yourself that you can do whatever it is that you need to do um, or that you're feeling called to do or um, I feel like with the sword, it's kind of feeling like um, having to take some sort of action based on what it is that you know. That's that's how it's coming through. What it is that you know now, it feels like. So Sagittarius. Spirit of the river. Movement towards adventure. I, <laughs> it's Friday the, the 13th as I'm filming this and the last like, f the last week I've been reading this sort of like, um, spooky fantasy story. I would say it's spooky. It's a little spooky. <laughs> there's some, so maybe there's something here. And anyways, the reason why I was talking about, or like bring that up is the, the river was an important symbol in that, in that story. Um, I'm going to read what that one says. It does. I think that one also does talk about like removing a blockage somewhere. Okay. One sec. Perhaps you're feeling like haunted by something. Yeah. Movement towards adventure, addiction to problems, allowing and trusting the current. The spirit of the river invites you to step into the flow or stop to stop swimming against or avoiding the current. 
Allow the waters to carry you downstream, away from the eddies and the whirlpools. It's time to heed the call of a new adventure waiting for you. Stop working on the problem for a while. The issue is not what it seems. It is your addiction to fixing what has gone bad that is co consuming so much of your time. Work to create a greater good and the bad will resolve itself on its own. There's nothing that you can accomplish with more efforting as the situation in your life right now are subject to forces beyond your control. Recognize this, step back, and trust the flow. There is no loss of face or lack of honor or integrity. It's simply the way things are at the moment. When this card appears, it is time to say yes to the next leg of your adventure. Your life is like a river, inevitably inexorably flowing to the sea, which is your divine destination. Excuse me one sec. Ugh. Okay, be fearless and release yourself to the rushing water in the middle of the stream. Whatever it is you are holding on to, the feelings, the thoughts, the beliefs about how things are and how they should be or could be, can be fixed easily with the power of the spirit of the river. Simply let go and enjoy the thrill of the ride. All will be well. Oh, excuse me, my nose is incredibly itchy right now. Um... Okay, Sagittarius. <laughs> I I see Sagittarius as a very adventurous kind of energy. There may have been something where I feel like maybe you're being called towards adventure, but there may be something that's holding you back from that. Um, holding you back from that. It could be fear. It could be feeling like haunted from some sort of past experience as well. There could be resistance towards going towards this for whatever reason. And it's kind of just like, let go of control. I feel like there's something um, sort of like, I feel like there's something that's wanting to come in for you, whatever that is. And it requires you to step into some sort of new adventure, but there's resistance there. It, it's kind of feeling like, um, because, because of that story that I was reading and this energy of the river, <sighs> there may be something where it's like, um, you think you know what the problem is. That's how it's coming through. You think you know what the problem is. And it may be even like you, uh, there is a problem that you're trying to solve. And it's like, okay, this is how we should solve that problem. But it's almost like that's almost like um, not even the main point of it is how it's coming through. Like, it's like the problem is actually the bigger underlying problem is or problem. I don't even want to say that. The bigger underlying like unfolding is something else entirely. But it's like in focusing on the problem, it... Um, It um, keeps you from seeing the bigger picture is how it's coming through. And so there's resistance, it feels like, because um, it's like, okay, I have to solve this problem. I'm looking over here. This is, this is sort of like the main issue. We have to resolve this before we can move forward. But it's like there's something else on this side. What are, just symbolically. There's something else on this side where it's actually like there's something much bigger going on over here that you're not seeing because you're focused on that if that makes sense okay i'm gonna get more cards so it's kind of it's kind of like yeah asking you to step back from something Because I'm not saying that the problem doesn't exist. It feels like it, there is something there that is um, trying to be solved or like you're trying to work on or you're trying to fix or whatever. Um, but it's almost like the solution is something that's entirely different than that problem. I don't know. I'm going to get more cards. There may be so something that you even like blocked off from your own access like it could be something where it's like um 
the solution, how you would fix this problem is actually something that you've almost like blocked off from your um, awareness. I don't know what that is, but we'll get more cards. The unmarked trail revelation. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. An unprecedented experience. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. You're called now to embark on a sacred journey. The Arth Arthurian knights in their quest for the Holy Grail had to make sure to take an unmarked trail that no one ever followed or they would not accomplish their goal. Likewise, you must enter the darkest forest of your soul via a route as yet unidentified to find what you seek. The manicured path will bring you only temporary pleasure and later great pain. Stop it. You already know there is no reward at the end of the road you are following. You're only killing time. Pause, breathe, and commit in your heart to a sacred endeavor. Vow to not look for old solutions that may have worked with past challenges. Get out of character, try the outrageous, and keep your quest private. Now is not the time to speak of the voice that called you to embark, of the unmark embark on the unmarked trail. That time will come. The unmarked trail can be a sign that you have already made a choice, even if you do not want to acknowledge it. Be at peace with what your heart knows to be true. Your heart has already made up and your mind will follow. Pack lightly, taking with you only essential beliefs that you know to be trustworthy under all circumstances. The universe has your back. Okay, Sagittarius. That's sort of how it's coming through. Like, if there is a problem or something, like, I don't know, whatever it is, an obstacle, a, a blockage somewhere, it's kind of like you're supposed to be taking a path that you've never tried before. It's kind of feeling like that. Um, old solutions to past problems will not work in this case. You have to try something completely new. An unmarked trail. You haven't been there before, perhaps. But it's, um, I feel like you have, you have, uh, tried this path before, maybe. You've tried this path before, but perhaps this path, I don't know, there was something about like I don't know <sighs> something about this unmarked path is difficult to see because I feel like it's unknown right you don't know exactly um what sort of uh ahead in this direction Whereas like the old familiar paths at least are familiar. They might bring about a little temporary relief, but in the long run will actually cause more pain or more, more problems perhaps. There's something here about like having to try something entirely new, something very, very different than what you have tried before. I feel like on some level you're um, you're already being called to that. Like it's it, this card talks about like your heart has already decided. It's just that your mind maybe maybe sort of like saying, okay, well that's not gonna work. That's completely logical. That's like like you're going against everything that you know, and perhaps that's it's sort of like that aspect of like. Because it's the sword, right? The sword does represent truth. There could be... Um, I don't know. We'll get more cards. I feel like there's something about like your past experience. Like feeling haunted by the past. Whatever that means. It could be something where it's like you tried to take this path before. But it failed. And so... Um, you could be be haunted by the failure. That could be part of it. Like, because that could be a wound in your solar plexus. You tried something and it didn't work. That could be like a very like sort of tough blow to your confidence. That kind of thing. Um, so it's kind of like removing that. That 
past energy um, and allowing yourself to heal from that experience, but also knowing that you have grown since that time. I feel like maybe there's something that has changed about either you, pro most likely a bit of a bit of both, like something has changed about you and something has also changed about this path um, where perhaps it's more in alignment now so that it could it could work out better or something like that. Yeah. Eyes of the Eagle. Eyes of the Eagle rising above the fray. And you have Horseman, Herald of Change at the bottom of the deck. Protection, inherit trust, rising above the fray. The Eyes of the Eagle offers you the gift of foresight, the skill of looking ahead to see the unfolding of destiny before it all manifests as reality. The eagle's extraordinary vision allows it to spot the tiny mouse from its lofty perspective as it flies thousands of feet into the atmosphere. In a similar fashion, you too can train your keen eye to discern the workings of humans. Eagle Eyes of the Eagle is an invitation to witness the good, the bad, the ugly, and the beautiful, yet react to nothing. Act only to further your noblest calling. The eagle flies above all creatures. When it meets obstacles, it simply rises above them. You know that you are protected. Know that you are protected. You can fly high above the judgment slings and arrows and the darts of envy from others who may not have your great wings and are still arguing with the pigeons over crumbs. Trust that you are ready for whatever fortune has placed before you, even if you feel not yet properly equipped to meet its challenges. Your willingness to say yes to spirit has nothing to do with how well outfitted you are. Hesitating, on the other hand, will suck the air from under your wings and make you lose altitude. You are called now to trust your heart and your instincts to move fearlessly and not waver. The time is right and no harm can come your way if your motives are pure and you act courageously. Um, yeah, there's definitely something here about like acting courageously, especially in face of like something that you fear. There's something here about like ghosts, ghosts, um, something from the past that maybe is still attached to you, feeling haunted by something. It could, it could be causing fear. I'm, I'm not going to lie, it could be causing fear, feeling haunted by the past. Hmm. Sorry, I'm going to switch decks. It wants to be animals. Yes. Because I feel like part of, like, there's a problem, right? There, There's something that you're you're focused on, right? You need to solve this problem. And your um, first, like, instincts might be to, like, do what you have tried before. Like, um, old solutions, things that have perhaps worked before to an extent. <sighs> But it's like there's something else here that is like um, actually the solution, but it doesn't seem like that. It doesn't seem like it's the solution because it's almost like you're taking a step back from the problem, which feels very counterintuitive or counter logical. Raccoon. <laughs> okay. Hmm.
The raccoon is a shy energy. <sighs> That's it's okay, Sagittarius. I feel like there's something like about like an aspect of yourself that you have blocked off from yourself. You've like you've like I don't know how to describe this, but like it's almost like you separated an aspect of your own psyche from yourself. Like you're that's sort of how it's coming through with the raccoon. Like I don't know for what reason it could be for healing, right? It could be like you there's something about like you um perhaps in the past there was some sort of wounding or pain or something that is kind of coming through as a ghost energy. It hasn't it hasn't um gotten closure is how it's coming through. It hasn't gotten closure. So it's like instead of dealing with that energy, it's almost like it's been um cocooned away somewhere in your psyche. Like you're not looking at it. You're it's like I'm just gonna ignore that. I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm gonna let it heal, whatever. Something like that could be something like I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna read the description. Talented, shadowed, shadowy in hiding. Raccoon energy is at play within all artists to greater or lesser degrees. At best, it indicates talent, tenacity, and skillfulness with a particular musical instrument or creative tool. Its shadow side points to an unresolved issue around self-image self and success. Sometimes using a stage name or wearing a mask works in an artist's favor. Other times it limits creativity. Am I who my audience thinks I am? What if I'm ready to grow into something more? Raccoon energy won't let us off the hook until this creative ego fear is resolved. Yeah. That, so it could be, it could have something to do with like expression, right? Like creativity, an expression of your creativity, whatever that is. Um, that perhaps you have like sectioned off from yourself for whatever reason. And it's like, this is the aspect that is calling to you. But it's like you're not seeing it because it's like you've almost like separated that aspect of you from yourself. And so this problem is not really about the problem. It's about this aspect of you. Because this aspect of you would know how to solve the problem. That's how it's going through. This aspect of you would absolutely know how to solve this problem. But because you've separated yourself from that aspect of you, the problem won't, is not getting solved, is how it's coming through. Because I feel like there may have been some sort of wounding that happened to this aspect, whatever this is. It could be something like a soul fragment that hasn't been integrated or hasn't been reintegrated yet. What's the unmarked trail revelation? It's too many. Yeah, the golden egg. I, I'm seeing this card. This, this card wanted to come through. The golden egg. This is your heart chakra, but it's your heart chakra, but it is also bringing in the solar plexus today because of the yellow. Something that your heart really desires, but the solar plexus, like your willpower is saying, that's not possible. I can't have what my heart desires. I can't have what my heart desires. That's what this is coming through with. Because I tried that in the past and it failed. Hmm. The, there it is that's that's the um the wounding because it's get it's feeling emotional now <sighs> okay sagittarius i had to take a moment I feel like something happened in the past 
it could be something where it was like a mistake or something that you regret or something that failed, right? Something that caused sort of like a wounding, um, a punch to the gut, like something that's really disheartening maybe, but it was something that you really wanted. And be in order to sort of protect yourself from that pain, that aspect of yourself, either like a dream or like a, a creative expression or something like that became blocked off from yourself. You blocked it off so that you wouldn't have to experience that, that pain or to live through it or like move through the grief of it. <sighs> and I feel like because of that, because of like blocking off that, um, the grief, uh, the pain, whatever it is, you blocked off a, the, the aspect of yourself that would absolutely know how to solve this problem. Sagittarius, it's just, um, it's an emotional reading today. <laughs> it just, it's been a while since we had an emotional reading. Um, this part is this part of the healing process, it feels like. Um, <laughs> I feel like there's a path that's calling you. There's something that your heart really desires. Um, I feel like you know what it is already. Your heart has already decided on it. Your heart has already decided on it is how it's coming through. I feel like part of the obstacle or the blockage is um, uh, uh, like perhaps like a mindset or like a belief that perhaps you feel like you don't not not that no it's not it's not deserve it's um, that you can't or that you like you whatever it is that your heart desires you physically perhaps maybe can't um, have that desire or wish. It's kind of coming through like that. It's feeling like I can't. Um. <sighs> hmm. Maybe you're punishing yourself for something, Sagittarius. Maybe you feel like you're being punished for something. Hmm, the tiger and the eagle coming out together. Vulture had the bottom of the deck. This tar this card talks about sort of like cleansing something, um, removing the toxins from an environment. <sighs> With the eyes of the eagle and the tiger, this feels like your higher self or like the aspect of yourself that is very much connected to truth and clarity and intuition and like your feminine energy because i feel like there's something that is like um this raccoon aspect of yourself <sighs> that perhaps you have put in the shadows in in your shadows like you don't want to look at it it's not it's not visible to you by your choice um,
It's a feeling of can't. Like, I can't do this. The Hermit and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like, um, Sagittarius, you are being called to go and find that aspect again. Whatever it is, because it's almost like it became separated from you. I don't know in what way or how or like how you're going to get it back, but I feel like that's part of the journey, the part of the releasing. This aspect of yourself it's kind of feeling like a soul fragment of something or something like that, like a soul fragment, something that became sort of detached from you is calling to you because that's part of who you are. Um, but there's here about like, okay, so first of all, a lot of Virgo energy here, Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles. Um, yeah, Nine of Pentacles is coming through is very Virgo as well. Like seeking wholeness is how it's feeling to me. Seeking um, abundance maybe or prosperity with the Nine of Pentacles. The color red in this hermit is coming through very strongly. Like it could be something to do with like your safety and security as well. Hmm. So you have six of swords, knight of swords, six of cups, seven of pentacles, and five of cups. Yeah, the six of swords, this one actually talks about like um, moving on from heartbreak with the three of swords, moving on from heartbreak. I feel like I feel like there is some sort of messenger kind of energy coming in with the Knight of Swords because it kind of feels like you don't know or, or it's like it's not. Because the because whatever aspect it is with the, the raccoon has been like sectioned off from you. It's almost like you don't know where to start or how to reclaim that or like um, with the Knight of Swords, it feels like there's there's either a message coming in or a clue or a hint or support. Um, it feels kind of like a messenger energy. Perhaps even from the past with the Six of Cups, like a reminder Okay, so it might be something like that. It might be something where it's like you're feeling haunted by something, right? Like, like it could be causing fear. It could be causing doubt. It could be causing like anxiety, feeling haunted by something from the past. But that it's actually, that's the thing that you need to look at. That's the thing that you need to, um integrate like because that's where it is that you left that piece of yourself behind it do it feels like you left a piece of yourself behind somewhere in a place where you don't want to look at
Because with the Five of Cups coming out, because this does talk to me about sort of like um, having, it kind of comes through with like the Eight of Cups to me for some reason, but before actually walking away, it's like you're, you're looking at sort of the um, landscape that is not providing relief. But you haven't walked away from it yet with the Five of Cups. You're sort of sitting in the... Perhaps you're getting clarity from that, like get, getting a higher perspective on something that's not working for you anymore. Five of Swords. I feel like, um, Sagittarius, you might be uh, walking away from something. There's there's a lot of change energy. You might be walking away from something. Page of Pentacles. In search of what it is that you're missing. Because here, here's all this, like, green energy coming in. Because that's sort of the unmarked trail. The unmarked trail and the heart chakra, right? Like, following your heart... It could be something where you experience like wounding about like something that you love as well. Like you perhaps like something that you love, something that you love, present tense. Um, but that there was wounding associated with it. And so it's almost like you, perhaps it's something like you sectioned off part of your heart, like sectioned off part of your love or your, your, Your soul. I, I'm i seeing this as being like you're going towards the unmarked path. Um, but that it might be a lone sort of adventure. It might be something that you do alone. I feel like there's also something here about like loyalty. Like who you are loyal to. Or what you are loyal to. It doesn't have to be a person um, in this scenario. It could be just like um, five of wands. Yeah, you have 555 five, five in your reading today. I feel like you are separating yourself from this energy, the five of wands. Like, um, it comes through as sort of like a group mentality, like how group mentalities can sort of like have a narrow perspective is how it's coming through because it's it prioritizes the group over, over the individual perhaps that's where you lost your 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 spark maybe or something like that maybe because I'm seeing you going alone doing something alone there may be something like where it's like um you are part of a group and maybe something that you love got lost within that group. Whatever that means to you. Um, and it's almost like in order to fit into the group, maybe, you had to section off a part of yourself that is actually very core to who you are, right? It's like, it's like it was like putting a sword straight through your solar plexus to fit into a group, maybe. Um... Your willpower was, became blocked, is how it's feeling. Your own personal strength became blocked. In favor of, um, 
aligning to a group or to like ideas or things that you don't necessarily prescribe to. So I'm seeing you just sort of taking all your things and leaving. That's how it's coming through. And going off on your own. What is this unmarked trail? Five of Pentacles. You have all the fives out. That's major change for you, Sagittarius. Major change. I feel like you are moving towards a specific goal, but there may be a period of like not knowing where that is. Like because the path is unmarked, there are no signs. There's no um, clear markers. There's no clear direction. There's nothing like there's a lot that's unclear about this path or what's on the other side of it. Even it's kind of like you're just relying solely on your intuition. Hmm. And your intuition is saying you can't stay here. You can't stay here. <laughs> the fool. <laughs> the fool. Definitely a new beginning, right? But like... What's on the other side? I have no idea. I have no idea what what it is that you're going into, Sagittarius. And it's like, um, there's that phrase that comes through a lot with sort of like self-help and, and everything like that, uh, that sometimes the way that our, our brains are programmed and all that, where it's like we would we would sometimes feel more comfortable picking a familiar hell than choosing an unfamiliar heaven, right? So it's unfamiliar, it's uncomfortable, but it's heaven. And I feel like there's an energy here of like, I can't keep choosing this familiar hell because it's hell. <laughs> like it's, it's feeling like that. So perhaps there's conflict, perhaps the, uh, whatever it is, there's just something about it that's not satisfying to you anymore. It's not nurturing. It's not giving you what you need. It's um It's just it's just like perhaps it's disheartening. It actually hurts you in some way like your heart and your solar plexus. It deprives you of will. <laughs> it drains your energy in whatever way and it's like okay, no more. We can't do this anymore. That could also be part of like the can't do this. I, I cannot keep staying in a situation that's negative for me. That might be part of it. That's also part of your willpower saying no to things that you cannot do anymore. And choosing something new. It does feel like that. Choosing something that is completely new, completely different. Um... But I have a feeling it's not. It's not. It's something familiar to you, perhaps from a past life or perhaps from the, an aspect, because that's what this raccoon could be as well. If it's not something that you've like sectioned off from yourself or whatever, like a soul fragment or whatever, it could be like a past life memory that hasn't been accessed by you. And it's like there's something new calling you, the spirit of adventure to pick something that you've n never done before. But I feel like, I have a feeling that when you get there, it'll be like, yeah, that's why I, that's why I was called there. It's going to feel familiar. It's going to feel good. It's going to feel like, okay, I understand why I had to go through all that. Like, this is where I was supposed to be the whole time. But you could you can't have known that in the energy that you're in at the moment. You can't know what's in your future, or what's ahead or whatever it is with all of this sort of conflict around you. I don't think I've ever seen all four fives come out in a row or like, well, not in a row, but in it's basically five, five page, five, five page of pentacles is right in the middle. 
that could have to do with like an inner child energy, page of pentacles, or perhaps an actual child for some of you. Can I get more information on the fool, please? It's beautiful. It's a new beginning. Yeah, the sun. The sun. <laughs> and the king of cups. I feel like there is something three of cups or uh, three of wands at the bottom of the deck that is like very fulfilling and satisfying that's on the other side of whatever this change is it's it is feeling like okay your heart already knows this to be true your heart has already chosen this um but everything else is sort of catching up it feels like like because your heart has chosen this all of a sudden now there's change happening You're moving towards your future. And and allow allow the universe to guide you. Because I feel like there may be fears about like I like the unknown, like not sure about the change. Um, feeling like what if there's no guidance? What if I don't know what to do next? Um, just trust there will be guidance. So there will be signs. Absolutely. There will be like um, Whatever it is you need in the moment You will have it you will know what to do You it's this feels like being highly highly guided by your third eye your intuition um, Your intuition is going to be like your like um it's like I'm seeing those like, like, like miners in a cave, like that kind of thing where they have like the lamp on their forehead, that kind of thing. Your intuition is going to show you exactly where it is you need to go, what you need to do, what you need to say, even. Um, it's kind of like your heart and your solar plexus have chosen this. Those energy centers are like, the main driving force of this next part, your heart and your solar plexus. Um, and your intuition is sort of like, almost like it's like the light has turned on is how it's coming through. It's being powered by those two energy centers and you're, you're being guided. Like the light is on, you can see the path already, but there may be fear about like, okay, we have to do this now. We have to go in this direction now. Okay, Sagittarius. So emotional reading. Um, I feel like there is healing that's happening for you at the moment in terms of like removing blockages removing blockages is how it's coming through and it in whatever way that is for you tears and crying is a form of removing blockages um or removing stagnant energy removing toxins and pain and hurt and all of that so be patient with the process okay sagittarius one card from this animal deck to close it please and thank you. <laughs> Let go. Bury. Didn't I say the spooky energy? There's something from the past you need to let go. Something from the past that you need to let go. Put it to rest. The scorpion fly. Scorpion fly is the first on the scene when there is a corpse. <laughs> 
It's very fitting this is on Friday the 13th, okay? When scorpion fly appears in your reading, it is a sign that there is something outmoded that no longer serves you. When we hold on to something that has died, we cannot return the energy it once had. Instead, it takes on a different kind of life. Maggots begin to lay eggs, the bacteria take over the decomposing process, and the new life has a rancid smell. What thing or belief are you holding on to that no longer fulfills your purpose? What do you need to let go of and finally bury in the dirt? When we give a proper burial and goodbye to what no longer serves us, it allows the natural process of decomposition to happen. It is through this letting go that something unexpected and beautiful can germinate. In burying what does not serve you, you create space for something more profound to grow. You become stronger by weeding through what is no longer contributing to your growth. Scorpion Fly's medicine shares that a new development is waiting to blossom, but you f must first sacrifice and bury the unneeded that is taking up space. Trash the old and outdated. <laughs> Sagittarius. Um, well, first of all, Scorpio energy might be very significant here. There's a whole bunch of change happening. I feel like you're letting something go in order to start again is how it's coming through. And there may be sort of like pain that you're working with, but in the process you are reconnecting with your truth and, and connect like solar plexus and heart, whatever it is, like it's like your heart is driving you. Your heart is driving you. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated with you, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.